you can count on. This is Way 31 News at 5. We are gearing up for a wet work week ahead. I'll have the latest details coming up in your Way 31 Storm Tracker forecast. Tonight, a group is sending out a message to those struggling with mental health issues. They say that there is help out there. I'm Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay. Coming up here, more about what the community is doing to prevent suicide. And we'll give you an update after two inmates escaped from the Lincoln County Jail yesterday. That's coming up. Thanks for watching Way 31 News at 5. I'm Rob Sneed. Now, today the weather outside is bright and sunny, a perfect day for a walk or hike. But how long will it last? Way 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle is keeping an eye on the weather tonight. Jeff. Well, Rob, yeah, it's good that the folks got out and enjoyed things today. I was out and about, saw people taking walks, enjoying the warm, sunny weather. Tomorrow it changes. In fact, as early as later tonight, we'll begin to attract some rain back here into the Tennessee Valley. Rain with us tomorrow. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday does look like by the end of the week we start to dry back out again. But we'll talk about this wet stretch ahead, what it means in terms of rain amounts, and also if we're going to be uh, tracking any sort of strong or severe thunderstorm activity coming up in your forecast. Right now I'm not tracking anything here on Way 31 Triple Doppler, kind of on the edge of the screen back here into parts of northwest Tennessee. There are some showers and thunder showers. That's where our chance for rain later tonight will eventually uh, find itself coming at us from. But again, for now, looks good. View over Lake Gunnersville with our Thompson Roofing and Construction Skycam Network. Thin cirrus clouds beginning to move on in. That, of course, often a precursor to rain chances, which will be with us back in here later tonight into tomorrow. Temperatures are nice. 77 in Huntsville, 74 in Fort Payne, almost 80 in Decatur, 77 right now Molten, and we're also pushing 80 degrees out in the Shoals right now. Forecast for this evening. Should be quiet, so if you haven't taken that walk yet, but still want to do that, uh, weather should cooperate here for the next few hours. We'll stay at or above 70 through 7, and then we'll begin a gradual drop off through the 60s through the remainder of this evening and on into tonight. I'll be back in a few moments getting the latest details on that wet week ahead coming up in your forecast. Thanks, Jeff. Now, don't forget, you can get the weather anytime, anywhere. Just download our Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. It features our exclusive 31 Triple Doppler. Now, the app is available for free right now on all devices. All you have to do is scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. Again, it is free. And new at five, life can be mentally draining at times, and you may feel there's no way out. But today, a group in Huntsville says you are not alone. Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay joins us live from UAH with uh, mental health experts. Uh, they say that suicide is the leading cause of death among young folks. But today, a group you spoke with, Jillian, says that there is help out there. That's definitely the message they wanted to get out there today, Rob. These are honor beads. Each color represents a different mental health struggle or loss. These ones are blue, and if you wear them, it means you support suicide prevention. Now, others I spoke with in the community today say that they wear beads like this to remember a loved one they've lost. Purple, red, and even rainbow. Dozens of community members wore beads like this while they walked around the University of Alabama Huntsville's campus. Kaylee's a junior at UAH. Her whole lacrosse team came to support this cause. She started an educational group on campus and wants everyone to normalize talking about suicide. She knows this walk helps that mission. Really stepping out of that darkness and like coming together and saying, hey, I've been a part of it. It affects me. I have friends who've been affected by it. This is the third year UAH hosted the event. They partnered with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. They raised more than $16,000 to help their cause. And at the end of today's walk, folks blew bubbles. They did this to send up a gift to the ones that they've lost. They say they wanted to let them know that they love them and they're never forgotten. I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Jillian Kay, Way 31 News.